What's up again guys? Yeah, it's me, your friendly neighborhood Dovahkiin, and welcome back to Let's Play Divinity Original Sin 2. And uh, before we begin, be sure to hit on the subscribe button for more great videos. Okay, after finishing Gareth and Gideon's quests, this is our next stop, the Black Pits Harbor. The uh, quest that is linked to this area is the Dark Dealings in the Black Pits, which is given by Paladin Hardwin at the Bridgehead. He will also give you a whistle to summon a Messenger War Owl to update him on the result of your investigation, which I will be using later after clearing this harbor. But first, we have to deal with those two Shriekers. Those around camp that watch it. The docks are restricted. Even I'm not allowed down there. If you come back bleeding, don't say I didn't warn you. Looks like trouble ahead. The divine order kind of trouble. Alright, use the purging wand from Act 1 if you have enough charges left. In my case, I'll task it on Sibyl by sneaking, jumping in via cloak and dagger, and source vampirism to finally melt the Shriekers. My goal here is to secure the three Black Ring prisoners from their Magister captors. To do that, I need to teleport them outside of the building. However, there are two Silent Watchers stationed outside, which will execute my three assets as soon as the fighting breaks. So I'll preemptively assassinate them with Seville. She has the uh, Gorilla talent by the way, so her basic attacks and backstabs are boosted while sneaking. Anyhow, for some reason, the Watchers won't fight back. By the way, I moved the barrel to prevent a clipping bug involving the three assets after the fight. Now I'm gonna isolate them from the barrel via teleport. I hit the right, I hit the 
Okay, before we confront these two white magister mofos, take note that Vor, the one wielding an axe, will cast Mass Shackles of Pain on our three assets. And this action is a programmed script, so even though you've teleported them far away, the spell will still reach them. To prevent this, do whatever is necessary to disable Vor before his first turn. Here, you'll see that I stunned him. Two white magisters are discussing the fate of three magically bound captives. Captives clad in the dark shroud of the Black Ring. Noticing your arrival, the magisters step back and take hold of their weapons. You. Ah, oh, yes, I remember your face from Driftwood. Shouldn't have come here, you silly little sod. Indeed. And your presence is most unwelcome. Ah, of course. But I'm afraid that doesn't matter anymore. We have to get moving, Raymond. Let's end this. The two magisters whistle up their source hounds and advance upon you, deadly intent darkening their expressions.
and that is how you make things easy. Now let's use the War Owl Whistle for extra EXP. Paladin Hardwind's whistle-like device sits nestled in your hand. Wings flutter. A War Owl swoops. It plucks the letter from your hand and flies away. Gotta get moving. Never know when more of those Dead lights ones. might pop out. Dead eyes. What treasures do they host? And swaggers up, shaking out the limbs that were bound tightly by the magisters. As if this were a tavern outhouse rather than a bloodbath, he smiles lazily at you, revealing teeth capped with reflective black metal. Thanks, Pet. Much obliged for letting all the blood out of that magister for me. The black tooth smile grows wider, scrunching his eyes to tiny dark pinpricks in his fleshy face. I've seen it, Pet. Won't be standing around yapping to you much longer, that's for sure. I need to report to the salon as fast as I can drag myself. Bit of a tricksy one, given how I was captured on duty and all. Salo does not take kindly to failure. But he loves me, so he does. I'm his pet. Turning his heel in a puddle of blood, he smiles his black smile at you once more, and winks. Later, pet. Consider me not taking it further, my thanks. Those whites are hypocrites. Every last one of them. The Black Ring is the Divine Order's opposing faction. They are the real baddies. But uh, I saved them in this encounter because uh, Nikor, Nikor, don't know how to uh, say it, will vouch for you later in Act 3. Anyway, upon returning to the uh, Paladin Bridgehead after this quest, they will be ambushed by Shadow Cloaks. So prepare for that. If uh, Paladin Hardin survives that ambush, he's going to give you more EXP. And that is all there is for now. Thanks for watching. Also, uh, check out other videos from Sabbath Grand Philippines and subscribe. See you on my next vid. Peace out, y'all.